drone videos just keep getting scarier. Modern day drones can easily capture scary moments from far away and even at night. Number 10. A drone is deployed by the Randolph County Sheriff's Department in North Carolina to try and find a missing elderly woman who has memory problems and has wandered away from home. A few hundred feet from her house, they find a single speck of purple, her jacket, standing out from the outskirts of a cornfield. She looks to be a few rows in and standing motionless, probably wondering how she got here and what to do next. She seems to be pretty out of it, because instead of waving for help, she simply pulls her hood up when she sees the drone like it frightens her. Two officers are able to locate her on the ground after the drone sighting. I'm glad she was found. It's scary to think what could have happened if she wasn't wearing a bright color like purple. She could have easily been passed over and left to fend for herself. Number 9. It's videos like this that make me believe ignorance is bliss. Simon Lawrence caught this drone footage of a great white shark scoping up a 7 meter crab boat near Port Lincoln, South Australia in October of 2017. You can see the enormous shark drift carelessly beneath the boat. At first, the shark appears to have no interest, but then the shark does a 180 and returns, appearing to nudge the rear of the boat. Like it's cane. Simon said that the shark put its nose against the motor and started to push us around. It then put its mouth over the echo sounder transducer. You can see the shark surface a couple times, which is quite scary in and of itself. Just seeing that face above the water is a little too Jaws-esque for the faint of heart. You can also see the shark move against the motor, although it doesn't seem to have caused any damage. After a while, the shark heads off and takes a rope with it. This incident would not have me going for a swim there anytime soon. Number 8. Everyone knows that you're not supposed to talk when someone is trying to tee off, and you definitely don't fly your loud drone right behind them. But this is what happens when you do. The drone pilot should have left when she gives them a dirty look over her shoulder at 10 seconds, but anyone who does this isn't the type to take a hint, and when she messes up her shot and gives them a second glare, they still don't move. That's when she takes matters into her own hands. Watch this part and tell me who was more in the wrong. I understand why she did it, but she probably should have kept her calm. Now she's probably banned from that golf course and has to pay for the drone. Number 7. A wanted man in Ripley, England pulls a crazy move to avoid being captured, completely unaware that his aerial acrobatics are also caught on camera via a newly outfitted police drone unit. He opens the window, hesitates, and then drops down onto a patio roof. It surprisingly holds his weight as he daringly runs across the fence and jumps into somebody's yard. Meanwhile, a ton of police are in pursuit. I have no idea what he did, but he must be risking a serious penalty to want to get away this bad. He outruns a police dog and at 40 seconds he jumps a fence that not even the canine unit can handle. He tries to hide in this unkept yard, but it's no use. The drone has him in its sights, and with his position detected, there's nowhere left to hide. He's quickly apprehended. Number 6. Jacob Vetter, who published this drone footage in May of 2015, claims that this, quote, crazy lady, unquote, was doing, quote, weird stuff, unquote, on his porch. In the video, you can indeed see someone on the porch. When she spots the drone above, she does as most people do on this list have done. She tries to knock the drone out of the sky. First, she uses a stick. That doesn't go over so well. Then she tries plush dice. That doesn't work either. Next, she is seen swinging what appears to be a black purse, but she doesn't throw it. Instead, she puts it on and leaves the yard, but paces back and forth waywardly on the sidewalk. It's uncertain what she's waiting for, if she's waiting for anything at all. 
Finally, she gets on her bike that's been parked on the sidewalk all along, and she takes off rather clumsily, circling around in the yard, then jutting out right into the road. What exactly is going on here? Because I have no idea at all. I will say it's certainly bizarre though, but the biggest question is, what was she doing on this guy's porch in the first place? Number 5. A man in Daytona goes roof hopping to get away from police. He's almost grabbed at 1 minute and 49 seconds, so he turns around and goes to slide off the roof, only to find more officers waiting for him below. Surrounded, desperate, and unable to see anything ahead of him, he hesitates but makes a last ditch effort and buys him a few more minutes of freedom. He lays on his back while they search for him. Whenever they get close, he simply crawls to the other side and waits some more. Soon the drone gives away his position over the radio, and they know exactly where to look. At 3 minutes and 10 seconds, you can see them climb up to call him out and talk him down. On the left side of the screen is a police dog, so at this point there's nothing left for him to do other than give up. He appears to be trying to look for a way out of this at 3 minutes and 24 seconds. But he is unsuccessful. He waits for them to get a ladder instead and then climbs down to accept his fate. Number 4 When a drone drifted over a residential area in Overland Park, two boys on bikes spotted it overhead, and that's when they jumped off their bikes to have a go at it. You can see one of the kids pick something up. I'm assuming a rock, but the drone is much too high up to actually knock it down. The kids follow it for a while, but don't come close enough to truly taking it down, although they make a valiant effort to do so. Eventually they give up, but the drone doesn't. It continues to follow them for a good 8 minutes, with the boys getting fed up enough every now and then to stop and throw more rocks. Certainly a scary and bizarre encounter for both parties involved. Number 3 A man in Florida is making random drone videos while his family enjoys the water. He never thought one of his drone videos would catch a deep sea creature way too close to an oblivious crowd. At 1 minute and 12 seconds, you can tell by the way its dorsal fin sticks straight up that it's a shark, not a dolphin. A dolphin's top fin curves back and this one doesn't. At 18 seconds, the shark casually curves towards this woman and then abruptly swims away. She panics and reaches out for help, though the person she reaches for has had his back turned and would have been unable to do much of anything anyway. The drone goes on to record some more scary shark moments on camera, like this mother who has her back turned as her children swim its way. I'm thankful nobody got hurt. Fortunately, the shark doesn't appear to be hungry and swims off, but there would have been trouble if anybody got in its way. Number 2 Strange lights in the sky are being reported all over Northeast Colorado. Unexplained events caught on video like this one by Jennifer Rollins, who all of a sudden noticed only one star in the whole entire sky, one that was directly above her and way too close, and she got out her camera to record it. That is a drone. That is so creepy. The mysterious light does look out of place when you think about it. There are no other stars in the sky, and Jennifer is not moving the camera at all. The strange light moves back and forth by itself, but is it a surveillance drone or something not of this world? And it's hard to see with this camera, but there are red and white flashing lights on it. This different recording taken by a woman named Dawn George does indeed show a sky full of mysterious flashing red lights. I have no idea what these could be and neither does the federal government. They are investigating and have come up with no answers thus far. So either this is a top secret program or it's something else that we were never meant to see. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1 this video, published by Chopped Liva in April of 2015, will demonstrate why it's not wise to mess with farmers. Chopped Liva wrote, Always be sure to ask for permission before flying over someone's property. Found out the hard way what happens. 
He went on to say that the drone was in police evidence and they were going to court over the incident. This isn't the first time nor the last that drones have been entangled in controversy over something like this. Do you think the farmer was in the right to take the drone down? Or do you think he went too far? I think the biggest takeaway from all this is that the easiest thing to do when flying a drone over someone's property is to ask them first. After all, you don't want your drone's fate to be this. A lot of people ask me how I can manage to analyze so many scary videos without getting terrified. Well, the answer is, I'm always terrified. 